My attention has been drawn to comments surrounding the Pandora Papers. Whilst I will respond comprehensively on my return from state visit to America, let me say this. These are the words of Kenya's head of state, President Uhuru Kenyatta, while responding to the leaked files from 14 offshore service providers to more than 330 public officials, including 35 world leaders, to offshore fortunes published by the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists, ICIJ. The world leaders named in the leaked Pandora Papers of almost 12 million documents that alleges hidden wealth, tax avoidance, and in some cases money laundering by some of the world's richest and powerful are the monarch of Jordan, close allies of Pakistan Prime Minister, the former British Prime Minister, and our very own President Uhuru Kenyatta. The report found that Kenya's first family has a mast of over 30 million USD, equivalent of 3 billion shillings, in one of the offshore accounts, including a high-end property in London, UK. There's no indication or suggestion in our reporting that this is indeed illegal, but I think we have certainly asked the king why were these purchases made through shell companies why has none of this been disclosed publicly? The Kenyatta family is among the high-profile individuals linked to more than 11.9 files where they began to accumulate much of its offshore wealth while President Huru Kenyatta was a rising political star. The daring global investigative piece was done by over 600 reporters in 150 media outlets based in 117 countries. This is a president who, for many years, and even a few years ago, sat down with uh, a BBC interviewer and said, if anyone has something to tell us that we haven't been transparent about, let them tell us. And I suppose today with the Pandora Papers, we're doing just that. The Pandora Papers, however, show no evidence that the Kenyatta family stole or hid state assets in their offshore companies. But President Huru Kenyatta says, and I quote, the Pandora Papers and subsequent follow-up audits will lift that veil of secrecy and darkness for those who cannot explain their assets or wealth. The president father saying, and I quote, These reports will go a long way in enhancing the financial transparency and openness that we require in Kenya and around the globe, end of quote. A search of public records in BVI and Panama found that most of the companies linked to the Kenyatas are now dormant, some of them as a result of a non-payment of regulatory fee. This investigation by the ICIJs, however, did not find any evidence or proof of the mentioned leaders breaking any law. Safi Gudanamamu, Such TV.